All right, so before we begin this incredible video, of course, I would like to briefly review two major parts of the channel. The first being the coffee shop members. These are fellow content creators that have joined forces with me to create amazing content. Please check them out and support. Collabs will be happening on their channels and mine throughout the next few weeks, and it will li likely remain this way for the near future. The second part, of course, is my membership deals. For my servers, talking to me, other members, versus battles, games, prizes, and more, you can join now for only $5 a month via Cash App. Simply comment down below if you want the Cash App discount membership. Thank you all, and without further ado, let's get back to the video. Now, also, in this video, one of the coffee shop members, Lumos, aka Renadom on YouTube, will be presenting Heroes Reborn Hyperion. I will be presenting Fully Confident Modern Gladiator. We will then compare the two and see who comes out on top. If you like videos like this, make sure to like, subscribe, uh, and hit the notification bell because YouTube doesn't like me and doesn't let y'all know when my videos drop. But anyways, I'm excited to do this. I'm going to go over Gladiator, Renadom, aka Lumos, will review Hyperion, and then I will tell you who wins. I'm excited. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's begin. Cal Ark, aka Blue Superman, was born a Strontian and a member of the Strontian race, which is this incredible superhuman race. And he went on to serve in the Imperial Guard of the Shi'ar Empire and later actually became the head of the Shi'ar Empire's Imperial Guard. This is actually a very prestigious role as the Imperial Guard is considered one of the scariest forces in the universe and represents a very vital piece to their civilization as they serve the Shi'ar gods themselves, which of course later on changes due to conflicts with James Foster's Thor. Anyways, regardless, Gladiator always puts his people in the Shi'ar first, the Empire in the Guard first, and will do whatever it takes to get the win, especially when he's fully confident. Now, what about straight strength feats? What has he done? For one, he's pulled up on Asgard itself and rocked Jane Foster Thor. This same Jane Foster can throw hands with Mangog, draw blood from Odin, fight Gladiator himself, fight Beta Ray Bill type characters, and he rocked her. He almost killed a desperate Heimdall who was desperately trying to hold on to the defenses of Asgard and keep uh, Gladiator from taking Thor. He fought off a pantheon of gods, including undead bloodlusted Thor and Odin. He was able to fight them all and keep them away for as long as he could. Uh, without them overrunning everything. He was the last line of defense, basically. He also, when he got pissed off and realized his gods were kind of foo-foo, he completely rocked the Shi'ar gods who are so strong that when they stood up, they actually knocked over Jane Foster's door. Uh, he also one-shot Thanos, who was starting to ragdoll the Shi'ar Imperial Force, who in the Infinity Finale was labeled as the scariest force and strongest force in the universe behind, of course, Thanos himself. And then when Big Dog Gladiator came down, he one-shot that Thanos. He also was stated in the Galactus versus basically everybody run that Dormammu, Satanish, Black Bolt amped by, I believe, Umar and Doctor Strange, amped Galactus stated the Strontian himself may have been the strongest foe, or at least mortal foe, he had ever faced, which is crazy. But yeah, that wraps it up for the strength feats. Obviously, Gladiator at fully confidence is no joke when it comes to strength. Speed. He's been able to blitz Jane Foster Thor, one of the fastest characters in the Marvel Universe. He blitzed the eyes of Heimdall when he blinked. These eyes can see all of Yggdrasil itself. Uh, go beyond time and space and when he blinked gladiator was so fast that he covered that distance before Heimdall could even react This is also important because it stated gods themselves wouldn't risk trying this speed blitz because it's you have to be so fast to blitz the eyes of Heimdall and The fact that he attempted it and completed it is nuts 
He also was able to blitz one-shot Thanos, as mentioned before. He blitzed the Shi'ar gods with no problem. He blitzed the Asgardian defenses, and they were pretty helpless against his assault. He blitzed the Black Order and uh, had his way with them, and he was also stated to blatantly be faster than Galactus in the attacks of Galactus himself. Durability. He took fatal stabs from Hela. He took hits from Thor. Heimdall didn't really do anything to uh, Gladiator in their fight, and this was a super desperate Heimdall. Beta Ray Bill didn't do anything to them in their uh, fight, and Gladiator was kind of rocking him when they were going back and forth. It took a while for Gladi uh, Galactus to finally stop Gladiator. He survived fighting the Phoenix, and he was unhurt by a battle that wore out Cosmic Ghost Rider. By the way, when Hela stabbed him and impaled him through the back to try to weaken his confidence, it was shown to be blatantly healed and just pissed him off because he was clenching his fist at him. Crazy. Now, let's look at skill. He's head of the top guard order in the universe, so obviously he has to be incredibly skilled as a leader and fighter. He has served on several missions with teams like the Avengers and Avenger-like teams. He's also battled a pantheon including Thor, Odin, and other skilled warriors who have been battling for thousands and thousands of years. He has cleared multiple wars and come out surviving, and he's also fought warriors like Beta Ray Bill, who even before training with Asgardians or training with the likes of Thor, was an equal to Thor in combat when they fought. Finally, hacks, abilities, and gear. He has his superhuman strontium physicals, which I've already reviewed. He has his laser blasts, which are capable of taking down beings like Nova and throwing him from orbit to a planet in seconds. He has incredible healing and regen, even healing from fatal wounds. He has his super senses on par with the other Herald-like uh, tier characters in Marvel. He gets amped from confidence, so if he hits you really hard, or if he's blitzing you and you're not doing well, there's a chance it's going to amp him because he's going to get more and more confident. And he has unreal speed with no known true cap to it. And I think he has an argument for one of the fastest in the verse. Characters in verse argue that characters like Richard Ryder are faster, but I'm not so sure as Gladiator was pretty confident he could catch up to him. But anyways... That's it for the gladiator section. I'm going to go ahead and pass it on to my homie, Lumos. In terms of origins, Hyperion has the classic Superman story. Sent from a world that was destined to be doomed, Galactus arrived and consumed his planet. Before he did, the loving parents of Hyperion managed to send him away to Earth. Landing on Earth, he became a hot-blooded American with his new atomic powers and became a defender of the planet, or at least in his eyes. In terms of strength, Hyperion can physically one-shot Galactus, brawl with amped versions of Gladiator and the uh, Shi'ar Imperial Guard by himself. He could throw hands with one of the strongest versions of the Hulk and even break his limbs in a fight. Um, he one-shots the Hanktron robot. Uh, he flexes off Dr. Juggernaut's hand and damages it with his super muscles. I wish I was making that up. In terms of speed, Galactus, uh, I mean, he speed blitz Galactus and Silver Surfer, and Sur Surfer just flat out says that, like, whoa, he's, like, way beyond anything that I've got. Um, he blitzed Hanktron, too, uh, as well as he defeated Mr. Beyonder by tying his sons into super knots around the moon while fighting him on Earth. He's notorious for casually BFRing people to the sun or the negative zone. He speed blitz the immortal Hulk. Blitz the Symbio and Eye of Agamotto prep timed Nighthawk, who's essentially like their version of Batman. So, I mean, in terms of speed, he's a very dangerous character. Um, in terms of durability, um, he can tank attacks from the Eye of Agamotto as well as other really high level magics, um, even though that's apparently his weakness. Uh, can casually uh, travel through stars and tank them as well. Uh, can tank the reality warping powers of Mr. Beyonder as well as his tongue, which threatened to strangle him. Can tank blows from the Immortal Hulk. 
can tank attacks from amped versions of Gladiator as well as the Shi'ar Imperial Guard and come out on top. And of course, uh, tanks multiple attacks from Dr. Juggernaut, both physically and in terms of magic as well. So he's pretty well rounded in the durability department. In terms of skill, he proved that he, he was the leader of the Squadron Supreme during the Civil War between him and Nighthawk, rolls through entire superhero teams by himself, deals with threats that are extremely powerful such as Galactus and Mr. Beyonder and come out unscathed, also fights powerful threats like the Immortal Hulk that can't be killed too, which is interesting. So even if you can't be killed, he has ways of dealing with you. And speaking of which, uh, let's switch over to the hacks, gear, and, and all that fun jazz on top of this. So uh, he's obviously got uh, super physicality, but the important thing is he's not afraid to use it. It's very in character for him to be uh, lethal against you. Um, his heat or laser vision can completely uh, kill the Immortal Hulk multiple times, as well as throw back Dr. Juggernaut. So it's really really dangerous stuff man i really cannot emphasize how dangerous these attacks are because if they can throw back both of them that's crazy and or kill them um he's got resistance to high level reality warping throwing down with beyonder level characters he has enhanced senses including atomic vision which gives him a variety of visions as well as uh super hearing which allows him to hear any frequency and uh, like I said earlier, this guy is a BFR king, dude. He will remove you from the battlefield as soon as he possibly can, whether it's a star or the negative zone. It's in character for him to do, and he does portals uh, on the planet that, uh, that go into the negative zone. He also has freeze breath, which I thought was interesting, very reminiscent to Superman, and is powered by the sun, uh, or I'm assuming starlight in general. And that's essentially a pretty good rundown on Hyperion. Now when it comes to outcomes, I'm definitely, uh, I, I definitely lean on the side, I mean, I mean Splash talked a lot about this, I, Hyperion is physically more impressive, or at least that's what it appears in this comic, uh, however, I really would not downplay uh, Gladiator. Gladiator has, I think, got more experience than Hyperion does. For the most part, from what I saw, like, Hyperion has issues if he can't just immediately BFR you or immediately, like, put you down with his raw physicality. He tends to have problems, like, brawling in this run. If you're going to sit down and throw down with him, it doesn't it doesn't work out as well in his favor. I mean, the one run we really see of that is his fight with Dr. Juggernaut. So, in terms of skill or fighting prowess, I'd probably give the edge towards Gladiator there, to say the least. After all, this is a fully confident gladiator, and I think that's something that's really important to express, because when he is confident, there's very little, it appears, that gladiator cannot do. He's like a, like if I was to describe gladiator's powers, he's like a Green Lantern infused with Superman. The more confident he is, the more powerful he is, and sometimes he just reaches unbelievable levels with that power. That being said, guys, I love being featured on the channel. Hopefully I have more crossovers with him in the future. Check out not only myself, Renadom, aka Lumos Theramax. I'm sure the link will be in the description, as well as the rest of the Coffee Crew content creators that are all hanging out. They're all really good guys, man. They all know what they're talking about. They're pretty trusted uh, friends of mine. So definitely give them a shot and uh, appreciate you for having me, Splash. It was a blast, man. All right, so if these two insanely powerful warriors were to collide, who do I think wins? So this is tough. I, I do see it. Uh, it was close to a draw for me for a while. Um, I think Hyperion in this altered 616 twisted reality, I believe he, he hits harder consistently than fully confident Gladiator although it's not a massive margin, but likewise, I believe Gladiator is legitimately faster than Hyperion. Gladiator is absurdly fast in modern times, especially when confident, blitzing the likes of the eyes of Heimdall. So I, I definitely think he's faster, and I think being faster and hitting Hyperion more times than he getting hit will only serve to boost his confidence. I do think Hyperion is insanely dangerous with his AP. However, he did die to Wolverine, and some of his scaling is wonky because it's a twisted reality, not from the normal perception and thus normal power levels of the normal 616 characters. For example, uh, damn, 
Beyonder is a fro frogger. He's frogger with it now. Like, losing, trying to be a mix of frogger and Mr. Fantastic. It's weird. So, it's not... It's kind of hard to gauge. Plus, he lost to Wolverine. Who, who loses to Wolverine? Not Modern Gladiator. That would never happen. Um, but on a serious note, I could definitely see it leaning either way with how hard Hyperion hits. However, I think Gladiator is faster and I favor him because of that. Slightly 6 out of 10. High, high diff. But I completely understand if you lean the other way. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think. I enjoyed doing this battle. Shout out to Renadon for coming on the channel. Um, shout out to all the other coffee members. And shout out to everyone that's going to comment down below to join the $5 a month full membership discount. Thank you guys for watching. It's been your boy YFE, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.